Hi, I'm Shilton Webb, and in this video series, I'm going to teach you how to do some basic, um, really cool stuff in subdivision modeling in LightWave 11.5. Uh, we're going to do everything from uh, chiseled down pieces of metal to uh, here's an air scoop, show you how to do that. Um, we're going to do uh, these really cool uh, cuts across geometry that are at an angle and really don't make sense uh, for, the, for the geometry itself. And then we're going to learn uh, two different techniques for that. Let's see, we're going to also um, look, learn how to make uh, body armor that has little shell parts that snap together. And we're going to take a look at how to create dials, uh, interface dials, and um, other types of dials. Uh, everything that has uh, everything from, from gear type things to uh, dials with inset bevels, uh, things like that. Uh, we're going to build a, a, a headset microphone like this show you how to do this little slick thing right here uh, where it, it looks like it comes apart and then eventually we're going to get to this point we're going to build a uh, tanto style knife with um, all kinds of cool little features on that and a handle show you how to build that really quick really efficiently uh, very low number of polygons and this is something that you're going to learn techniques that you can take and then immediately use when someone or when you need to build pretty much anything, you can build it in sub D surfaces using these techniques very quickly, uh, almost like sculpting. And then also uh, very briefly, going to touch on um, sub D uh, using sub D surfaces to create organic shapes and organic creatures like uh, this creature here from a game. And that's it. You can find the video on um, liberty3d.com, and it is uh, secrets of subdivision modeling for a lightweight 11.5.